the short answer would be Twitter. Um, it's where I first learned about transgenderism and started following some transgenderists. Um, I think as a feminist, you tend to believe that, you, know, you tend to want to stand up for um, the oppressed, for minorities, for people who suffer from discrimination. And um, so I had a lot of empathy for this group, although, and I, I was happy to learn about it. And at some point um, I started seeing discussions with women, with feminists and thinking, hmm, they sound kind of reasonable. Why are these men telling, uh, telling them to suck their dick or stuff like that? I, I recognize typically male abusiveness and aggression. And I think intuitively, I realized that something was wrong, that I had a, a gut feeling, but I saw so many reasonable and uh, smart women uh, being very eloquent about this issue. And I learned a lot from there. And that's where you might say I radicalized online. Um, and um, secondly, I, I've been much less affected uh, personally than Jennifer and Claudia. Um, uh, but I'm now seeing it also, this this ideology coming and becoming quite influential apparently in Luxembourg. And what I would like to mention is that um, after this law was passed, I didn't even find out until it was already passed. So there wasn't even any possibility for anyone to campaign really because basically nobody knew about it. Um, I went to see a lawyer to ask about the, women, the rights of women in Luxembourg and what she could tell me about this new law from a purely legal point of view. And she uh, turned out she, ha she was uh, uh, in an ethical council that was consulted. No women were consulted. No, there is a, a women's council that is generally cons consulted about all uh, new laws that in involve women or that affect women in some way but this was really seen i think gen i think genuinely seen as something that would not affect women i don't think that wasn't even a question that was asked she told me that sh that it was just one person who pushed this law in luxembourg it was literally one person and if i look at what they have been able to achieve i gave a little uh, background just now how they were speaking to i mean i'm sure it was it was probably a few people but the, it was mainly one person who who was doing uh, all the advocacy and all the lobbying and i find that just incredible if i see the consequences the potential consequences that this this will have also in luxembourg there is a 16 point action plan that they are from last year and uh, I will come back to that later, but if they are going to, and when they're going to implement all of these actions, um, this, this will affect all women here in Luxembourg.